Hello everyone, Physicus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one I'll be going over how to manage the MFTs, how to quickly cycle through the pages without taking your hands off of your stick and throttle, as well as show some of the layouts I personally use. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation about MFTs and their associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to use the MFTs effectively. Let's get into it. The Viper has two multifunction displays, MFTs. Specific variants might have more, but we'll be covering the most common variants. Along the bottom of the MFTs, you have five OSPs. The first one, Swap, as the name indicates, swaps the displays. The last one, DCLT, or Declutter, is only available in some of the pages, like the Radar or TGP pages. It removes a lot of the labels and information that might not be needed at the moment, or is distracting you, or blocking something you're trying to see on the display itself. These two OSBs cannot be altered in any way. Between these, you have three OSBs, which you can configure. As you can see, for example, on my left MFD, I have the FCR, Test and DTE pages selected. Mid-flight, the DTE page is not needed for the most part, so I can change it to something else. Select the page you wish to change by pressing the respective OSB. Then, press that same OSB again. You can then select which page you would like to have on there, like, for example, the TFR. You can change and manage the pages of both MFDs in the same way. Once you've configured the pages on the three OSBs I mentioned earlier, you can think of them as shortcuts, and you can cycle to them without taking your hands off of your HOTAS. To cycle the pages on the left MFD, you can use DMS left on your stick. This will cycle the pages on the left MFD always to the left. Likewise, to cycle the pages on the right MFD, you can use DMS right on your stick. This will cycle the pages on the right MFD always to the right. I would like to quickly share the way in which I normally have my MFD setup. On nav mode, I don't change much from the default. I normally always have on there the FCR. The two other pages I change as the situation requires. On the right MFD, I always have the SMS page, the HSD, and the TGP. On air to air mode, missile override mode, or dogfight mode, I have the FCR on the left MFD. Then, on the right MFD, I have the SMS page to configure or change weapons if needed, the HSD for situational awareness, and the TGP to visually identify targets if needed. On the air to ground mode, I have the FCR, the TGP for target acquisition, and the head page. On the right MFD, I have the SMS page, the HSD for situational awareness, and the weapon page. I'll change these pages as the situation and mission requires. You can configure the MFDs prior to the mission by going to data cartridge and then click on the MFD tab. Then, on this drop-down list, select which mode you want to configure. On the next drop-down list, select which of the MFDs you want to configure. Note that the Viper only uses MFD1 and MFD2. The other two MFDs are not in use. On the primary, secondary, and tertiary drop-down lists, select the page you want to have on each of the OSBs mentioned earlier. On the current drop-down list, select which of these you want to see when you select the mode for the first time. When you are done, click on Save. 
And there we have it. This is how you configure the MFD pages and cycle through them. I personally find that the DMS left and right stick shortcuts are very useful to quickly select a page. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.